I have meat to eat that you know not of. Therefore said the disciples one to another, has any man brought him aught to eat or something? Did somebody else feed him? What's going on? And Jesus said unto them, my meat, listen carefully, you want to know what meat is according to Jesus. My meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. So meat is to do the will of God. Now the Bible says to desire, to sincerely desire, or to desire the sincere milk of the word. Is that right? That you may grow thereby. But now notice, people always say, well, I want, we're going to get in the meat now. We're going to get in the meat. We're going to dig that. Okay. If Paul didn't put meat in, you can't dig meat out. You understand that? If Paul didn't put meat in, you can't dig meat out. Why? But he said, desire milk, the milk of the word. And then Paul even told the carnal Corinthians, he said, you guys are carnal and I would love to give you meat, but I can't because you're carnal and all I can give you is milk. Isn't that right? And then that's in chapter three. Then in nine chapters later in 1 Corinthians 12, it talks about the gifts of the spirit. So the gifts of the spirit are milk, not the meat. But yet we look at that as the epitome of spirituality. But now understand this. Notice, milk is the word. And when you do the word, when you do the word, what are we supposed to do? According to James 120, 122, be ye therefore doers of the word, not hearers only, deceiving your, yourselves. He, you can't just hear the word, you got to do the word. And when you do the word, see the word is milk. And when you do the word, it becomes meat. Yeah. Why? Because your meat is to do the will of the Father. So you can't get meat just by hearing. You can only get meat when you go do what you heard. Yes. And when you start to, now when you take in food, let's say you just go eat food. You eat the food and your body breaks it down. Now your body doesn't think in terms of what kind of food. Your body is looking for nutrition. And so it breaks it down. And now the reason it does that is because then it turns it into energy. Your body just wants energy. It doesn't care if it, well, parts of your body, mainly your taste buds, do care what the food tastes like. But your body really doesn't care much what it tastes like. All it has to do is break it down. When it breaks down, the food becomes energy. Okay? The word milk becomes meat when you do it. Do you understand? No do, no meat. You got that? Isn't that simple? So if you want meat, you got to do Right? Now, I'm not talking about getting saved by works. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about doing works because you are saved. I'm talking about doing works because of salvation, not getting salvation by doing the work. You can't do anything like that to, to get saved. Amen? But when you get saved, now here's the thing. You can have, okay, you can do works and not be saved. But you can't be saved and not do works. Just think about that, right? So you're going to have to do something, right? Why? Because James talks about that very thing. Anyway, let's, let's get back here. He says, I have meat to eat that you know not of. My meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. 